Hi there, my name is Glenn Palmer, the former owner of Palmer's Pursuit Shop. My son runs it now. Been doing paintball equipment since 86. I started playing in 84, the end of fall of 84. It was just brand new. I saw, I saw a little thing on TV about it. Craig and I were going fishing way back. And then I drove by a place, saw the sign on the road, survival game. And that was in Sacramento? Uh, out Jackson Highway. It's where the Action Pursuit Games paintball is, and they call it is what they call it now. What was it called? It was Survival then? Sports Incorporated back then. Oh. It was, you know, it was, and it was an NSG field, yeah. NSG yeah. franchise yeah. operation originally. So the first time you played, then you used a spot master. No, we seven. we had the 007 Nels box. Okay. Gotcha. First time I played. Third time I played, I bought my own guns. I bought one of each. <laughs> a 007 and a, and a PG. We didn't have PG. We didn't have the pumps then. We had just the PG. Yeah. Paint guns. I bought one of each and started seeing which one I'd get the best results out of. And what were some of the first modifications you did on those? Well, the f of note was uh, making them more efficient and uh, change, quit changing the CO2 faster. That's when you were the most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, minimize my vulnerabilities yeah. by changing CO2 quicker. Either one, you're screwing the knob 30 times mm -hmm. before you get it tight. And that's why I came up with my first Quicksilver unit, which was a quick change for the Sheridans. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of went from there. Yeah. All during that same time, well, first I tried to make them more efficient. So I approached the guns valves, like looking at a valve, the valve system on a car. How do you get the most efficient use of the gas? Mm -hmm. Started tinkering on it that way, and uh, called Lori out the backyard one day and said, "Look at this, 35 shots out of a 12 gram on a rifle." It's like no way, just did it. Hmm. And uh, of course, that wasn't it wasn't rate of fire thing. I mean, you have to slow and slow and steady to get that out of it. Yeah, keep the velocity down. But that's kind of where it went. It was. Quicksilvers and uh, Quicksilvers and performance tuning, on, mostly on Sheridan paint guns for all those years is what I is what started it. Mm -hmm. So you were GP services. Early on, yeah, that's a, it was a, kind of a catch-all, fix anything type of mm -hmm. side business for me. Yeah. And I was about the only time I tinkered on paintball guns was out at the field. Somebody had problems, I could fix them. Well. Makes it easy because I'm a third generation gunsmith, so working on guns was just kind of yeah. second well, nature to me. Yeah.